Did you know about the royal vault inside Windsor Castle? Under St. George's Chapel lies the royal vault where Prince Philip's lays awaiting the arrival of Queen Elizabeth since his death in 2021. During the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral it was first televised and you could see the lift slowly taking the coffin down to the vault where it is then moved. The vault was built between 1810 and 1814, it is 16 feet underground, 70 feet long and 28 feet wide. The vault is made to hold 44 bodies in total, 32 coffins on the shelves and 12 in the center. There are currently 25 members of the royal family inside the royal vault excluding the Duke of Edinburgh. A list of the people inside is shown on the screen, pause to read. In 1969, an extension of the chapel called King George VI Memorial Chapel was built by the late Queen Elizabeth II as a permanent rest place for her father. The Queen Mother was then buried in the chapel in April 2002, following which the ashes of Princess Margaret was moved into the chapel from the royal vault. This chapel is where Queen Elizabeth II will lay in rest alongside her parents, sister and her husband who will soon be moved into the chapel. If you are wondering if you can visit the royal vault, the simple answer is no you cannot as it is not open to public, but you can attend the services at St. George's Chapel. The second question people commonly ask is if it smells and the answer is unknown. The coffins are lead lined which is supposed to keep moisture and air out, keeping the bodies inside from decaying from longer but only the caretaker and those who has been inside of the vault will truly know. What part of Windsor Castle does the royal family live in? Windsor Castle is one of the largest castles in the world. The royals only live in a section. The rest is open to the public. Let's look at where they live. This section. They live on the entire wing, but spend most of their time here. This is what that corner looks like from the outside. We don't make history, we make history better. After her funeral in Westminster Abbey, the Queen's coffin will depart for George VI Memorial Chapel in Windsor. Here, in a private ceremony attended only by her family, the Queen will be laid to rest alongside her sister, Princess Margaret, and husband, Prince Philip. Once it's lowered into the crypt, King Charles will be the first to scatter earth on the coffin, just as the Queen did for her father in 1952.
The coffin was made over 30 years ago from strong English oak and lead. It's a traditional design for members of the royal family. The lead lining prevents air and moisture from building up inside the casket, which is crucial for a monarch who has spent a week lying in state above ground. All this makes for an incredibly heavy coffin, around 250 kilograms, the same weight as Diana's, and one that has to be carried by eight pallbearers. What is happening with the Queen's funeral? Her funeral is set to be the biggest state event that the UK has seen in decades. 2,200 guests and 500 heads of state are expected to pay their respects. The Queen is currently lying in state at Westminster Hall, but on Monday morning, a royal procession will take her across the street to Westminster Abbey. Her funeral service will begin at 11 a.m. British Standard Time. After the funeral, a procession will take her down the Mall, past Buckingham Palace for the last time, and to Wellington Arch. From there, she'll be escorted by Royal Hearst to Windsor Castle, and then finally, to St. George's Chapel. There will be a family service as she is lowered in to the royal vault below the choir. Queen Elizabeth II will be buried alongside Prince Philip, her father, King George VI, her mother, Queen Elizabeth, her sister, Princess Margaret, and her grandparents, King George V and Queen Mary. She will also rest alongside generations of her ancestors, like King Henry VIII and Jane Seymour, the first King Charles, who was beheaded, King George III and Queen Charlotte, King George IV, King William IV, Queen Adelaide, Princess Amelia, Prince Alfred, Prince Octavius, Prince Frederick, Princess Augusta Sophia, King Edward IV, King Edward VII, and Queen Alexandra, and probably Edward the fifth and Richard, Duke of York.